Now, if you leave your ex-wife the last weekend, right, in August, you have a few more days in August in 1994, right? And then you fell September 15th. That's over 17 days later, by the way, by the way. Now, your ex-wife had how many days, right, to go to the police? 17, 17, right. We're not talking two, we're not talking three, we're talking 17 full days <laughs> from the last weekend in August. I say I stayed there the whole weekend, I'm not sure exactly if it was Friday or Monday, I went back to base, but I say I went back to base Monday, though, hypothetically, I don't remember, again, giving you two choices, by the way, because <laughs> I don't remember fully right. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> After all this time, right, right, we're talking 11 to 30 years now, right? And 15 of it is this idiot on YouTube trying to convince the other listen to another, right? <laughs> right? When I'm asking him how, <laughs> right, or her how, right? Don't seem to get that, right? <laughs> the mom was there in the master bedroom with her daughter, right? And like I said, there's four possibilities you know the child could do to wake you up or not. One, go into the bathroom and not wake you up. Two, <laughs> wake you up by staring at you until you wake up. Right, right. Three, go over there and wake you up. <laughs> See, that's the point. Right. We all know that. We all know that. <laughs> See, when it's something common and simple, right, and what's the simplest thing to do if she wakes me up? Bring her back to her mom immediately. Right, right. So what do you do if she does? Ask her who sure did that. Right, right, right. Is it normal for your stepdaughter to wake you up? Right, no, right. If I'm mentally ill <laughs> and was fine before I went mentally ill and I went mentally ill of a religious nature, am I going to harm my stepdaughter just because you woke me up? No, no. There's no reason to. <laughs> There's no reason to. She just woke me up. My kidding child can wake you up. <laughs> Hypothetically, right? <laughs> of the three possibilities anyone can do to wake you up again or not, right? <laughs> and those are the only three things you can do to wake someone up too, right? Right? Normally, normally, is you either go in there, you sit there and stare at them long enough, and then they wake up, or you go in there and have to wake them up, right? Right? And like I said, only Daffy does which of the three. <laughs> Possibilities really happened before I moved back to base, or not you, not you. <laughs> See, when you're guessing and pretending you know, people can tell that too, right? Because after you had 17 days to do something about it, and then a year, Because right? you can get legally separated if I moved back to base, idiot. <laughs> For a year! <laughs> Guess when our divorce went through? September 1995. September 1995. <laughs> A year later, right? <laughs> Actually, a year and a month, but anyway, but anyway. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you wouldn't leave your spouse if you're traveling halfway across the country to Arkansas and she leaves you in Tennessee. <laughs> I mean, come on, <laughs> what the hell, right? I didn't even get to meet her family, right? <laughs> Though, if she needed an excuse to get back, guess what? I had to be back by Monday morning, right? <laughs> right, there was an excuse, by the way, <laughs> right? To get back by Monday, I had to be back on base on Monday. I didn't have leave, <laughs> I didn't have leave. Even if she did, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she did or not. Right, right. Like, you know, something I don't know if she had leave or not, right? For two weeks or not, right? At least she said something like that. About two years ago, maybe. <laughs> right, right. But again, <laughs> didn't say that about two weeks, I was in Bethesda, Maryland for two weeks, right? See, there's a story here. There, there's something that leads up to all this, right, right? And then, right, <laughs> meeting the daughter for the weekend, and he's right, and then move back to base, right? It's all that happened. I thought that happened to you. Right. You're changing the flow here. Right, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Simply because I said because I'm watching this for you since 1990, <laughs> I could have molested her, but did not, right? Didn't, right, right. So that sounds like, again, people, right? Anyone here, right, understand the word didn't means what? Never happened, never happened, right, right. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> Anyone who's saying that knows what's going on in the world. That's what they mean, right? And some people are doing it and some people don't. <laughs> right. So what they're saying there is, I'm like, you know, I could have done something, but I didn't. By the way, right? <laughs> because I was on the couch and she was in the bedroom with her brother. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it. <laughs> but I could have done it, right? right? The possibility of doing anything is there, right? right? If you're in the same apartment with the girl, right? But since she's sleeping with her mom, there's zero chance, right? Neil, Neil, right? And I was psychologically fit for naval duty in Great Lakes, right? So why do I want to molest my daughter? I want to go to jail, right? No, I even mean, I do mean that, right? You go to jail for less than your daughter, right? You bring it right to your mom, right? They put his sweat, right? You don't wait around, right? Unless you think she needs to pee or something, then, like I said, that makes sense, too, what I'm talking about doing, right? Now, whether she did or not, it's still hypothetical, right? Of something you might could do if you're trying to help her pee, right? <laughs> and it's all within the lines of, you know, interacting with someone normally, too, right? That's how you pull down her pennies, and then she has the option to go to the bathroom or stay around you now, right? Two choices, right? <laughs> the chocolate there is out, right? Right. No one's adding anything or taking away from the possibilities of what two choices being, right? Right. She could go pee, right? Or stay in front of you, right? <laughs> right. If she stays in front of you, which one is weird? That is just stays in front of you, right? Now, if she stays in front of you, what are you supposed to do then? Wait, sure she didn't pee herself or something? Right. You're not sure why she's even in there with you, right? You see what I mean? Right. So what do you do then? You think about smelling her crotch? Right, right. Are you even drop? Yeah, all that you don't know. You done took her panties off because she's in the bath living room with you. She's got out to the bathroom toilet, right? <laughs> Again, another possibility <laughs> you might could do. <laughs> If she got to walk to the bathroom and take off her panties, because if you pull them around her knees or ankles, you can't walk to the bathroom because you might fall. Durr. <laughs> right? Does this make sense? <laughs> or not make sense? Right? Is this schizophrenic talk? Or logical? <laughs> Rational? <laughs> right? Right? From a man who heard voices in 2000, I mean 1993, right? Not his whole life, not his whole life either, right? Who made it into the Navy has an education before he got to the Navy, at least high school, right, right? And all he had symptoms of hearing a voice, a Jewish vision, which means he had to be That's all he's ever been to, right? And no real hallucinations that where he can discern fantasy from reality or the hallucination from reality, right, right? Those are the symptoms I have in 93, by the way. That's all. That's all. I heard voices of a religious nature in 1993 saying Jerusalem, 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 or she's your witness or things like that about Tina D. Right, right. <laughs> Why do you think I was confused and kept writing her a little bit, but not sure what was going on because we had sex and I don't just have sex with someone in Dublin, right? Do you? <laughs> no. I don't either. I don't either. I don't know what's going on either. I ain't said nothing rude to her. I'm sitting in her Bible studies and we're both Christians. We're both from the Pentecostal background. No, she could have been Trinitarian Pentecostal. I don't know, right? There's two kind of Pentecostals too. There's Trinitarian Pentecostal and there's United Pentecostal. They're oneness. <laughs> See, Jesus and God are one. <laughs> like John said, like John said, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I and the Father are one. <laughs> We're not three in one. We're not three in one. Unless we're three from one, right? Meaning, and dragon was male and female. That's three in one. That's three in one. That's three from one, right? That's three different forms, too, right? Not father, son, and the Holy Ghost, or mother, daughter, and the Holy Ghost, 
which are two forms from the one form. If you have two forms from one form, is not both in the form. <laughs> the male and female are one in Christ Jesus and Paul. Both are in his body. Both are from him. And both are in him. <laughs> Above all, through all, and in you all. Does it not sound familiar like Paul said it? <laughs> in Ephesians 4, <laughs> are you not ignoring it, Catholic Church? Yes. But what are you ignoring about it? There are three persons <laughs> in the Trinity. They're just androgynous, male and female. And guess what? Jesus is all three. Right. right. Three showed up, Abraham and Sarah. Three appeared between Peter, James, and John. Right. Gabor, Ish, and Yolda. The pregnant one. <laughs> Did that help Sarah conceive? Yes. Do you understand? One of them was a woman. Why do you think you see a woman sometimes? Does that not make sense? <laughs> that makes sense. Perfect sense. Unless you don't want to reason with the Lord. Huh. <laughs> and who don't want you to reason with the Lord? Our adversary. <laughs> ha, Satan. Whatever you want to call it. The enemy, the adversary, the one who wants to harm us. Right? And teach us to harm each other, right? Some idiot shot people for a basketball going into his yard. You can't do that. I'm mentally ill, and I know you don't shoot people for getting their basketball out your yard. That's not true, Pussy. Right? Uh, <laughs> what has gone wrong with these people? <laughs> it's not just mentality. It's murderous mentality. My basketball rolls into your yard. I'm not going there to shoot you. I'm just getting my basketball retard. Right? And that gives retards a bad name. <laughs> That's what they used to call us. <laughs> By the way, I was called it too. <laughs> you were, I was. <laughs> How do you think I made the word too, right? <laughs> so they had a class for it too, but... <laughs> They always told me I should ride the special bus, you know what I mean? Right. Okay. <laughs> That's why I could talk about it, right? I was a victim of that crime, right? Right. <laughs> but I didn't let it bother me, right, either. <laughs> now, see, if someone was posting the videos and you're not watching them, it's not about you, but my story, right? And I'm not hiding myself like I'm trying to really hit on children. A pedophile hides himself behind the screen of a computer. <laughs> like this idiot does. <laughs> and talks about sex with children with a grown-up. <laughs> Am I doing that? No. <laughs> or are they doing that? They're doing that. <laughs> okay, that's the fact, Jack. <laughs> Right? I mean, do I look like I'm trying to be a young 15-year-old boy <laughs> or a teenage boy? Or do I look someone in his 30s to 50s who's trying to find, uh, you know, tell you about his situation, what happened to him in the 80s, right? right? Both the good and the bad, and the ugly and the ugly. <laughs> and the pretty and the pretty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But see, like my mom says, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make him drink, right? See, horses can be stubborn too, right? Stubbornness. What did... <laughs> Stiff neck and uncircumcised and heart. I heard that a few times, right? From Paul, or around Paul, right? Even, even, right? <sighs> But if I'm warning you, I am just can only warn you, right? I can't stop you from doing something dumb. Like attacking me for 15 years on YouTube. That's dumb, right? Even I know that's dumb, but you won't realize it's dumb. So I guess we continue now, huh? Right? Okay, have a nice day.